In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up YouTube ads and Google ads conversion tracking for 2022. Now, before we get into this video, I would appreciate it if you gently press that like button for me, that would make my day. All right, guys, let's get right into this video. So with YouTube ads, you essentially using the Google ads interface as Google owns YouTube. So when you're tracking conversions with YouTube ads, you're basically setting up Google ads conversions. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So when you're inside your Google Ads account, you want to go to tools and settings and you want to go to conversions. All right, so when you click through here, you'll see a bunch of different conversion actions here if you've already set up conversions. If you haven't set anything up, this is going to be completely empty. Obviously, this is an account where we've set up a lot of conversions, so it's not empty. All you would do is click new conversion and usually you're going to have website right like in certain cases you might be tracking app installs or phone calls but in most cases you can be doing website conversions so you're going to click on that and you're going to have the goal and action optimization so usually if i'm doing a lead i will do something like contact or submit lead form obviously if you're having a purchase that would be in the purchase category so you can kind of organize your conversions here pretty well so let's say we're doing a lead form submission. So you can rename this whatever you want. So links test and then the value. So if you want to assign a value to conversion, you can. I usually do this for purchases, for leads. I don't really assign values. So let's talk about count. So what count is you basically select how many conversions to count per click or interaction. So if somebody submits the same lead form two or three times, if you have every, it will be two or three leads well if you have one it would only be the first one that's counted now this is good if you have for example an e-commerce website and people can make multiple purchases and you're all tracking that under one purchase conversion because each purchase conversion obviously is worth more to you right so if they've made three purchases you want to know they've made three purchases on the other hand somebody who signed up for your lead magnet two times there's still one lead right it's not really additional value that they opted in twice. So I like to have one for leads, signups, and other conversions. And then for every is for e-commerce purchases usually. Now, right over here, we have the conversion windows. So click through conversions are when somebody clicks on an ad. And usually what we'll do is have 30 days for this. If you have a longer sales cycle, you may want to go 60 or 90 days. And then engage view conversion is something that's new. And this is when somebody watches at least 10 seconds of your video ad. So typically I go with the recommended three days. So an engaged view is essentially somebody who's watched your ad for more than 10 seconds. So they're kind of engaged. They could have skipped it, but they didn't. And then view through conversion is somebody who even sees your ad for like a two seconds or one second, and then they skip, right? So it's not really as useful. Uh, typically I'll put this at one day, right? Like I don't really put much weight on view through conversions, especially with this new engaged way conversion window, which is really, really useful. Now, after this, you click create and continue. Now, guys, at this point, there's a couple of different options for how you can set up the conversion tag. Now, guys, what I like to do is I like to use Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager is a tool that allows you to manage all your various tags. So tags like Facebook Pixel, Google Ads, tracking, as well as Google Analytics. So all of those codes can be easily managed inside Google Tag Manager. So I'm going to briefly go over how to set up a Google Tag Manager account. So what you do is you come in here into tagmanager.google.com. You'll click create account. You'll put in your account name. So usually a company name, whatever geography you're in. And the container name is usually the website, right? So I'll usually just put in my website for that. And the target platform is usually web. You click, you click create, you have this terms of service agreement that you say yes to. And there you go. And then what you do is you will basically take that tag manager code. You're going to save it and then you're going to install it on your website. So there are instructions for that. So this code on the top goes into the header page and then the code below that goes into the body tag. And obviously each platform is going to be different. So you're going to have to look this up and see how to install it exactly. But typically it's quite simple. And the cool thing is you install it once all across all your website code. It's set up and then you can 
go in there, set up the Facebook pixel, the Google analytics tracking code, Google ads conversion tracking code. And instead of having to go into your website's backend and add in code manually, you can do it through Google Tag Manager. So it's a much simpler, much faster way to do it because you just go in there and one click, bam, you're done. Now let's go over how you will set up your conversions with Google Tag Manager. So obviously you're in here, you're uh, basically, you click on your conversion after you've set it up, right? So it'll show up in there. And you'll see uh, where we are. So you click on use Google Tag Manager. You grab that conversion ID, copy and paste it, and the conversion label as well. So those are the two big things. So you'll click the new tag. You'll click, uh, you'll name it. So you'll name it as Google Ads, you know, whatever your conversion is, right? So I would name it as Google Ads opt-in. And then you go into tag configuration, go to Google Ads conversion tracking, and you paste that conversion ID in there. And then you paste the conversion label as well. So go in there, copy and paste. So now you've set up your conversion ID and conversion label. And now you have to set up your trigger. So essentially the way the trigger works is you're gonna set it up. You're gonna have a new trigger. So whatever page they go to after they opt in, you'll want to have that as the trigger, right? So usually if they opt in, you may send them to an thank you page after, and you want this conversion to fire on that page. So a trigger is essentially a kind of, if this do that. So the trigger is the if part. So the trigger is telling you, hey, fire the conversion if the page URL is whatever the page URL is. So as you can see here, this is the thank you page for the conversion. And then you copy and paste that in there. So this is the page they go to after they opt in, right? Because that's how you can essentially be like, okay, this page, this person opted in 100% because they went to a page that can be only accessible after opt-in. So you don't want this to fire on the opt-in page. You want to fire this on the thank you page for the opt-in page. And then you click save, click save again. And there you go, you've set up your conversion. And now guys, there's also a conversion linker that you should set up. Um, that's going to be a separate video, but it's pretty easy. It's just like a one click, one click thing. Whenever in Google Tag Manager it says set up conversion linker, you literally just have one click and you set it up. So yeah, guys, that's how you set up a Google Ads conversion with Google Tag Manager. Now let's talk about using the HTML global site tag and hard coding the conversion. So this is installing the tag yourself. This is going to be a little bit more complicated because you're going to set up the site tag and then you're gonna also set up this event snippet. So this goes onto all of your website pages, right? So this needs to be on every page on your website. So you're gonna take this copy and paste between the head and the head tag of every page on your website, right? So usually, for example, in WordPress, you can go in there and set this up quite easily um, by basically going into the theme file and modifying that. Now this is the event snippet. So this is the actual conversion tracking snippet, right? So you only want this to be on the thank you page. So you would copy and paste this and you would put this into the head tags of your thank you page. So the same page we set up as the trigger in the Google Tag Manager method, the, you know, the thank you page, right? That's the same page you set this code up. Now, obviously with this method, you're going into your website's code and you every time you're setting up a conversion, you have to go in there, you have to copy this code manually while with setting it up through Google Tag Manager, it's a lot easier. So you can still do it this way, but in my opinion, it's a lot better set it up the other way. Now let's go over an example of how to set this up with the actual code. So install the tag yourself. And by the way, we're gonna show you how to set this up on ClickFunnels. So you're gonna grab that global site tag. You're gonna go inside your ClickFunnels account. Go to settings. So this is for the whole funnel, right? So you're setting up this for your whole entire funnel in ClickFunnels. So it's gonna show up in every funnel step. And then you're gonna put it in head tracking code. 
So you're gonna have this in pretty much most content management systems or most funnel tools is like somewhere to put in the code for the entire funnel or for your entire website. Now over here, we want to set up tracking for them opting in for a webinar, which is on Webinar Jam. So we're gonna put in the global site tag into Webinar Jam as well. So if your website is distributed over two tools, right? So in this case, we have some funnel pages on ClickFunnels and we have some pages on Webinar Jam. You wanna put it in both places. So we've taken that global site tag, we've put it inside ClickFunnels on every page and we've put it inside Webinar Jam as well on every page. So that's step one, setting up the global site tag on every single page on your website. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the event snippet and this is specifically on the thank you page of let's say whatever conversion you're tracking. So in this case for a webinar opt-in, we're gonna put it on the webinar thank you page, which is the page they get to after they opt-in for the webinar. So we copy and paste it. Again, go back into webinar jam and we're just gonna add it in the post registration thank you page tracking. So there we go, we've set that up, save it, confirm. Now what you wanna do at this point is install a Chrome extension called Google Tag Assistant, right? So the Google Tag Assistant allows you to check whether something was implemented correctly or not. So once you install the Google Tag Assistant, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it on your thank you page and you're gonna see that the global site tag is set up, your Google Ads conversion tracking set up, and this was another tag we set up as well. But yeah, guys, that's basically the gist of how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking. Now, guys, if you want more specific training on how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for YouTube ads, or you want to scale YouTube ads in general, you should check out our YouTube ads training program. It's an in-depth coaching program where we have in-depth training on every aspect of YouTube ads, including setting up conversion tracking for different platforms, as well as setting up Google Analytics, the remarketing tag, everything you need to do in terms of tracking, we cover it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and smash that like button. I'll see you on the next video.